Hey there, my name is Florian and I'm a grade 11 student in Mr. McKenzie's class at Oak Bay High School. In my free time, I enjoy baking, volunteering, shopping, watching movies, and just spending time with my family. Lately, my English class and I have read the play Macbeth, and we are currently working individually on an oral presentation for our blocks. Macbeth is a play that focuses on a Scottish trader and his wife who are looking to gain power. Through this, they both experience the greed of ambition, which leads to both their tragedy of deaths. But first, let me tell you some history of Shakespeare and Macbeth. William Shakespeare was an English poet, playwright, and actor whose plays became very famous around the world. Shakespeare was baptized on April 26, 1564 in England. At the age of 18, he married 26-year-old Anne Hathaway, with whom he had three children. Shakespeare produced most of his known work between 1589 and 1613. His early plays were primarily comedies and histories, and these are regarded as some of the best work ever produced in these genres. He then mainly wrote tragedies until about 1608, including Hamlet, Othello, King Lear, and Macbeth. These were considered some of the finest works in the English language. At that time, Shakespeare's plays were performed in a theater called the Globe. Above the globe, there were always two flags. One of them was a globe theater flag, which was an illustration of Atlas holding the globe, and below was a saying in Latin. The saying said, all the world is a playhouse. The second flag always changed depending on what play was being performed. There was a white flag, which was for comedy, black flag, which was for tragedy, and the red flag, which represented a political play. The play that my class and I read was Macbeth. It is a famous play written by Shakespeare in 1606 as the new king of England took the throne. James I was of Scottish descent and replaced a powerful and long-standing Queen Elizabeth as the royal leader of England in 1603. Shakespeare quickly wrote Macbeth, which is a Scottish historical play that would favor James's ancestors and display a tone of power and honor for his new leadership. The passage that I chose is located in Act 5, where it relates to the theme of ambition. This is when Lady Macbeth is sleepwalking because she's filled with so much guilt and ambition, which eventually leads to her death. But firstly, I will explain a bit about how and what led to this important event. At the beginning of the play, Lady Macbeth is the ambitious one. She's the one who creates the events and is the driving force of the plot and who encourages Macbeth to kill King Duncan. Lady Macbeth convinces Macbeth to kill King Duncan, insisting that it is the only way for Macbeth to become king himself. After the murder has happened, Macbeth feels so guilty for what he has done, but Lady Macbeth feels no shame and says, My hands are of your color, but I shame to wear a heart so white. Lady Macbeth describes that her hands are covered in blood, just like Macbeth's, but her heart is not filled with any guilt. As the play progresses, Macbeth himself then continues on the killing spree by killing Banquo, his best friend, and Macduff's wife and son. Now the two characters' emotions have switched between them. Macbeth becomes the ambitious and murderous one, whereas Lady Macbeth is the guilty one. She no longer knows what's happening around her and especially with her husband. All the events that have happened in the play lead to Lady Macbeth sleepwalking and then committing suicide. Lady Macbeth, who once naively thought she could just wash her hands and forget Duncan's murder, is now sleepwalking and so full of guilt that she imagines her hands are always covered in blood. She says, Out, damn spot, out, I say, here's the smell of the blood, while all the perfumes of Arabia will not sweeten this little hand. Here Lady Macbeth expresses that her hands are filled with so much guilt that nothing in the world will sweeten or wash it away. At the end, Lady Macbeth cannot cope any more with the guilt of what she and Macbeth have done. She controlled and manipulated her husband with great skill. By the time Act 5 rolls around, Lady Macbeth is full of guilt, isolation, and paranoia. Really, she switches places with her husband when she felt these things earlier in the play. Eventually, all the guilt and emotion that Lady Macbeth felt completely consumes her and she commits suicide. Throughout this unit, I have enjoyed learning more about Shakespeare and taking the time to read one of his most famous plays in history. At the end, I would like to thank my teacher for providing my class and I with a touching play written by the great William Shakespeare. Thank you very much.